I always thought I was going to marry you. But fortunately, as they say, in a New York minute, everything can change. And on one St. Patrick's Day, Union Square in New York City at the Chelsea Inn, everything did change, which is when I knew I was going to marry you. There aren't enough adjectives in the world to describe what an incredible person you are. In fact, they haven't even invented the words. But I need everyone here to know that you are without a doubt the most caring, kind, compassionate, selfless, supportive, loving, beautiful, strong woman to ever walk God's green. And I'm so happy I saw you sunbathing on a deck at 6 Calamara Street in 2013. Gina, you are a teacher, a lover, a fighter. You are my girl, my lifetime companion, my best friend, and now I am so proud to say that you are my wife. Wow. But definitely. My little baby. <laughs> My little baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Some of you are probably wondering where my mum is, but unfortunately she can't be with us in person today. I wanted her to help me get ready this morning and share memories of her wedding. I miss you every single day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back in. I miss your laugh and your smile and the way you made us laugh and smile. Mum, I know you will watch over us as we continue through the next phase of our lives. Please know I will always love you and miss you till the end of my days, until we meet again. The bride. Yes. Duncan sees me and I see him. We can absolutely 100% be ourselves when we are together. My love, you complete me. You're my other half, the missing piece, my rock, my best friend, and 100% my soulmate. We were put on this earth to find each other and be together and live out our lives. Again, my heart aches, but this time it's an eternal love that I can physically feel in my heart. I'm honestly, truly blessed. Thank you for the best six and a half years together. You are my forever, and I can't wait for our future together as husband and wife. Oh, <laughs>